my London Tell Lines, this is Mrs. Dillon, your art teacher, and today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make your very own floating chalk print. Again, floating chalk print. It's so exciting. You're going to need the following things to make your very own floating chalk print. A tray of some kind. Again, I'm using my metal um, artist palette tray. You can use a tinfoil tray or a baking tray that's been lined with tinfoil. Again, get your parents' permission before using anything that could stain. I have paper cut to the right size to fit inside of my tray. So I have a few sheets of that. A popsicle stick. If you don't have a popsicle stick at home, you can see I'm reusing the same one that I used for my shaving cream print that we did a couple weeks ago. You can use a popsicle stick. If you don't have a popsicle stick, a back of a spoon. Again, make sure you get your parents' permission. Chalk. It could be artist pastels, like what I have at home. I don't have sidewalk chalk, but sidewalk chalk works really well for this as well. And water from your tap. Um, and this water is just going to go right here in this tray. You don't need the tray to be flooded and filled all the way to the top. You just need enough to coat about an inch of your pan. So here are my chalks. I'm gonna start by picking a color and I'm going to take my popsicle stick or the back of a spoon and just scrape the chalk. Once you're done scraping the chalk onto the surface of the water so you can see mine here is kind of floating. I'm going to take the paper, kind of curve it so that it looks like the letter U right before I put it in the water so that the center hits first. Gently drop it on top and you're going to want to give it a little back massage to make it feel good. Not only does this help your paper catch the floating chalk. This helps the paper kind of get a chance to really let that chalk cling. Now don't let it sit too long. If you're using computer paper, it could start to fall apart. So I'm just going to slowly pull this out of the water. Give it a little tap on the back. You can see, oh, that is really pretty, like a galaxy. I used light blue, dark blue, kind of a blue violet or indigo color there. I used some yellow, blue and yellow, you know, linen hill lines, go lines, a little bit of red and orange, almost all the colors of the rainbow. You can see where some of the chalk is overlapping. The blue and yellow kind of starts to make a little bit of green there. The red and yellow makes a little bit of orange. So we're using those primary colors and you just get secondary colors, orange, green, and purple start to appear. So you can see that pulling this really took a lot of the chalk off of the water. I'm going to set this aside to let it dry. And I can scrape some more chalk and make a new print. Okay, I'm ready to try my second print. This time I used all of the colors in my tray. I used black, I used white, I used red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and the blue violet, which is like purple. Again, I'm gonna take my paper landscape style, bend it so that it looks like the letter U from the side. Gently let it fall in place. Give it a little gentle tapping slash massage on the back. This helps to make sure that the paper is actually touching the surface of the water and catching the chalk. Gives it a chance to let the chalk stick to the paper because of the water. There we go. I'm gonna pull this up slowly. Ooh, it's like a galaxy. So again, just like last time, giving it little taps on the back. This gives the water a chance to kind of run off the page. 
gives my paper a chance to sort of start drying a little bit. So, trying to grab it by a corner. There's my second floating chalk print. That one's really cool. It sort of reminds me of the galaxy. So that was how to make your very own floating chalk print. So again, you can see this is my last one that I did. It's starting to dry now. It's pretty dry now. It's actually like a galaxy, all the different colors being used in it. If you guys take pictures of your art and want to share them with me, send those to lindenhillrelatedarts at gmail.com. If you have questions for me, Mrs. Dillon, please email those to lauren.dillon at redclay.k12.de.us. Thanks guys, can't wait to see what amazing artworks you make. Take care, bye-bye.